Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Ready Steady Craft. How are you today? How's the weather where you are? Of course I always have to ask that. Uh, we are on episode 22. Thank you to those of you who have joined us like right from near the beginning. Hopefully you can hear me okay. All the bars are going up and down. Uh, I think you can see me okay. I'm just going to check on uh, yeah we have a picture amazing that's a good start so we've had power cuts here today and obviously the wi-fi the internet goes with that as well the lights all go so we're crossing fingers that everything's going to hold okay natalie's had some sort of craft world but we are speaking about something very sp speaking crafting with something very special today uh, but i'll let natalie natalie knows more about it than i do actually we are taking part as such although we can't enter ourselves in a challenge so let's go and say hello to natalie are you ready for us can i have a thumbs up i'm ready yeah she's ready yeah i don't want to embarrass her coming over if she's still picking her nose or sort of hair out or something yeah hello <laughs> You know me too well. Hi, Lou. How are you? Very well, thank you. Are you good? It's so funny when you, when you were just saying that there have been some technical issues. It, the, the stream got interrupted for two seconds, which has happened as well. So sorry about that, everyone. We're just going to try and do what we can do um, and come back to you and it'll just be... We're, in, we're, in the, we're at the mercy of technical gods today, aren't we? So. Oh, we are. It's just been hard work. The whole day has been hard work today. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I can imagine. You just, just all the lights go out dramatically in there like a horror film, Lou. <laughs> yeah, well, to be honest, if the light, if the power goes off here again, all the lights will go out, but the stream will stop, so no one will see anything. It will just go dead. So oh. I'll apologise now in advance. If anything major happens we'll maybe try and get together and do this another day perhaps you know when we're yes. free uh if not so, we might hmm. you've asked me to explain the challenge i have you? yes so, today today we are piggybacking on the back of the simply cards and papercraft 220 challenge so over on craft world each month becky pops over and sets a challenge and picks and the winning card that's chosen a winning project rather is then published in that issue so I think on, on sale right now is 218, but we like to get nice and far ahead. So we're looking ahead to autumn, which is why the colors are, the challenge is autumn colors. So if you wanna take part in the challenge, you can just go to the Ready Steady Craft blog post about this one, episode 22, which is on the homepage right now, and you have until the 7th of July to enter. But I thought it would be a really nice thing. And it's also about trying to encourage everyone to get involved. Um, some of the challenges that I've posted on there have been more generic. So my current editor's challenge is for stripes, which means that our sewists and our knitters and everyone can get involved too, you know, something that's a bit more a bit general. So that's fun. So I thought it'd be good for us as well, Lou, to um, absolutely colour theory into it. I've I've dug out my trusty distress inks uh, from God knows when, so let's hope that they're still. Uh, well, I've just restocked going. all my distress oxides, so I'm going to be using them. In fact, it might be a good opportunity to talk about the difference between the two yeah. as well while we're playing with them. If you've got inks and I've got oxides, um, yeah. but yeah, it's interesting the colour thing because you usually think of autumn as being yellow orange red yeah uh, i'm gonna bring in some green and brown and see what happens i don't know yeah. if it'll go mushy yeah. or uh, yeah i just awesome. thought it'd be nice it's, it's like us getting involved in the challenge on there and we could even pop the cards on the actual challenge when we're doing as well yeah um, so that's cute so i encourage anyone to come along and have a go um because becky would love to see what you make absolutely brilliant so uh yeah. do you want me to yeah i'll do i'll let you do your magic while um okay. i read a few of the comments actually i just noticed the camera's really close up today <laughs> really close up for everybody i apologize if you can see anything here you don't want to be seeing uh hello to uh rainy atkins to ella hello hello uh everyone's saying hello to natalie i'm here i'm joking i am joking it's because i went over to nat <laughs> hello to lynn clifton hello to marie bland as well um lynn said she loves autumn colors uh, and then we've got Joan. She said she's missed a few days of crafting. Um, she was visiting her friends on the other side of Newfoundland and driving seven hours whilst the live's been going on. Wow, that is a long journey, Joan. Um, she loved the visit, but she did miss the lives. That's fine. Well, you can always catch up, Joan. Obviously, it's lovely to have you here and commenting with us. And hello to Jeanette as well. Lovely to see you. We are both on Facebook and we are on YouTube. So just popping over to YouTube as well. Um, hello to uh, Colourplay. Colourplay, you you won a prize recently in one of the Facebook Lives. So congratulations again to you. That should have now been sent out to you. Hopefully, you may have it already, actually. 
actually. Let us know. Um, and she said, good afternoon from a very wet Hertfordshire. It's extremely wet and horrible here as well. Because of the power issues I've had, I've been between the studio and home trying to catch any building that might have some power on Wi-Fi to carry on working. And I took some things over. This is my little life story for the day while Natalie's getting sorted, but I think she's sorted now. Um, yes. I took some things over to my house from the studio, started working over there, came back and then realised I'd left the pink mat, the pink mat that everybody recognises, I left it at home. So my daughter and her friend just had to walk over in the rain to bring it back to me because I didn't have time to go and get it. So um, thank you very much to them. They probably won't be watching, but thank you anyway. But yeah, so that's how my day's gone <laughs> today. It's been interesting. I'm going to come down to hands now because that's way more exciting than seeing faces. So we have a, quite a good colour match, only I'm quite close up today, whereas Nat, you're, a li you're nice and f a further away. We can sort of see your more of your desk which is lovely uh, in fact it's funny because we have very similar computers and I have mine hovering here as well so if I just sort of extended the view a little bit you'd actually be mm. able to see um, that e almost exact same view no it's fine Nat you leave it honestly you sure? oh, yeah. no it was just funny because if I'd have you know stretched my view out a little bit everyone would have seen almost identical things so you're already I better get some things in do you want to explain yeah. what you're going to be doing so and using I, I managed to get my hands on this gorgeous uh alter new blooming mandalas uh stamp which I think is really cool and works with the whole autumnal thing so the, the yes. basic idea was a bit of blending I might actually start from the center and work out if I'm feeling brave and oh, see nice. if I get that type of ombre effect or it might just be more intelligent. I also thought maybe a nice gatefold card would work well with this half mandala. Um, nice. But I'm just a bit reluctant to stamp straight onto the card blank. Right. So it might be two panels. And also, this has been done so well that you can just cut it out. I'm sure it comes with, I'm sure you can buy um, dies to go along with it because Alton you normally do that don't they but um, mm. I'm gonna go with the flow and see what happens and I know we've been talking about these blending brushes um, in a few episodes because I've never got my hands on them before so this is um, my first attempt at using these little so if you're feeling not competitive and loving and want to give me some top tips on how to use these brushes you know what? they are so forgiving you'll be fine with them because they put the color on nice and gently and evenly and you can build it up so there's not usually any mistakes made with these you'll be fine oh i absolutely meant to say at the start of the stream as well that i really enjoyed last week's um ready steady craft like i was so into it i i, I have oh. i still haven't used my cricket maker yet but it's so cool to have emma on hand to just reel off all these answers you know what i mean because she's she's used the machines for so many years and it comes across that way yeah she is absolutely brilliant and in fact we've got emma on craft uh, stash live yes. on friday as well going through some of the more recent uh, bigger machines that's exciting um but yeah thank you i when you said you, you know you really enjoyed it i, I forgot that you weren't with me <laughs> just for yeah, a second yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I just wanted to say it was like a, it was a really nice episode to watch, and I, I've watched it back since as well, just to pick up on, you know, like when we're chatting here, Liv, I can't even remember what we said. We've we've gone from, you know, sweets to crafting to this to that. All sorts. Crafting. Yeah, and it's so nice to just sit and actually take in what what you and uh, Emma were talking about. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it because you never know when when you're in in the live as such it's very hard to know how it's coming across to other people um okay so what i'm going to use is uh, a template now this is a little bit of a sneak peek because we are currently uh choosing designing developing all the templates for you there's loads already on craft world natalie did you do the roundup post natalie is that out I now did, and it's on the home page right now fantastic so if you've not seen the download the card template downloads already you can go onto the home page and you can find a place to see all of the templates so far I'm going to use one which is a sneak peek. It's coming up just to some, just to wet your whistle as such a little bit um, for this. So I'm going to use a twisted gatefold card template. If you've not seen this before, it's such a fun card shape. I'm going to make the card base dark and then bring in a layer of white cardstock over the top uh, to do some blending on. And I'm going to do the blending over white embossing. And I just chose this. Now, not this is a January flower. Uh, Stephanotis don't know what that is it's very pretty uh, but I'm only going to be using small elements of it so you're not really going to see what type of flower it is I just wanted something 
uh, sort of floral leafy in the background so that's all it is um, so yeah I'm just going to spray my template down and start cutting and scoring that as per the template <laughs> How are you getting on with the with the blending I'm brushes? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You are. You're right. They're very. They're very um, forgiving. But because I'm, I'm kind of not coming onto the. I'm still working for the centre. I'm trying to work out what the best technique is. You know, I think it's going to involve going back in again to make sure those layers go over each other. Um, yeah. I've just spied a comment on there. Geraldine says, "I missed what the challenge was that Nat's taking part in." Does anybody know? So, Geraldine, this. Uh, Ready Steady Craft is based on or with piggybacking on the back of a Simply Cards and Papercraft challenge that's on Craft World. So every month, Simply Cards and Papercraft run a challenge. You go and enter a card or a project that meets with that um, brief, and then Becky picks a card and they get fe featured in the magazine. So me and Lou are not going to be allowed to be featured in the magazine oh. either, with these projects because we're. Uh, cheating somewhat but we would love everyone if you want to get involved in that particular challenge all you need to do is go to the um web page that i've made for this ready study craft um also if, if, if any of our moderators are watching today maybe they could post that link in there or i'll do it when i get a tick um yeah so we're just looking for cards becky is looking for cards with autumn colors and she'd love you to post them and you could get featured in the magazine so Lovely. and it was a good opportunity for me and lou to play with some inks and do some stuff that we haven't done for a few weeks yeah um, I, I, I we were chatting weren't we saying you know what should we do next week and i said you know what we've not made a card for a while no. because we did father's no. day gifts and obviously the cricket uh cutting show as such yeah. uh, i did i did mine with the scan and cut so so yeah, it's been a little while since we just got down to general card making. Um, and I, that's what we love, isn't it? A lot of us. Um, that blending's beautiful. Yeah, so you've, you've done ink, ink blending before, haven't you? I have, yeah, but I think everyone knows that I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm as a crafter, a little bit rough around the edges and I'll use what I've got to hand. And I think absolute cardinal sin when I brought a piece of foam that wasn't attached to a foam, you know, blending tool and very much a, oh, what have I got around, you know, kind of face it. And so these are great, these brushes. And they are. I, don't have, I don't have an orange ink or I don't have an orange distress ink, rather. So this is doing really well at creating that mid colour where the two of them meet each other. Yeah, you can overlap colours and blend them really well. And hopefully that's going to happen uh, with mine as well. Fingers crossed thing when they get it. The thing is as well, this is just basic white card stuff that I have in my stash. I know that those who are really into their stamping will have the right card stuff to do this, that and the other. Um, so I'm sure you get an even better blend with, with that situation. Uh, yeah, Ooh. so are you super duper smooth card stock? Yes. Um, how, let me how super see. duper smooth is it, Lou? Super duper smooth. How super duper duper smooth is really, it? Really, really, really super <laughs> duper smooth. You have to have it like so it's like silk. Uh, I'm just going to, just excuse me a second, I'm going to pop onto Craft World and I'm just going to pin uh, that challenge if I can find it. Oh, fantastic. Have you got it from the post? Uh, I'm just having a look. I'm having a look. It's in the Ready Steady Craft post, isn't it? It's in Ready Steady Craft episode 11 post. There we go. Oh, uh, I love so those colours. Oh, Yeah, yes. they're nice, aren't they? Right. Uh, copy. So me and Becky always have a little bit of a powwow about what we think would be nice and Obviously, because the, the magazine is monthly, it's quite hard sometimes to do something seasonal that's always going to marry up, you know, Easter and Halloween and stuff only come around, you know, once a year. So we've got to try and be a bit inventive. So I have I have just put that comment in. Ah, so it's come up as Crawford HQ. I think that was myself. I will just, whoops, I've clicked on the link. I didn't mean to do that. Me and technology... <laughs> just not happening today technology's not loving me uh i'm pin comment there you go everybody that is now pinned for you so that means that should show up all the time um okay so i've used my template with some self-adhesive self -adhesive, uh, removable adhesive spray and if you want to know how i use templates there is a video on craft world that i put together just showing you how i print them off at home and then um how I use them basically so this yes, one the top of that post as well sorry top the, post, the top of the post with the, the post with all of the templates in have that video right at the top this is what this card is look at that so it opens up but it 
twisted gate. Oh, so it's a gatefold, but it's not. So what I want to do is add two panels on here that are um, ink blended as such. I mean, I could, if we had more time, I'd do under here as well, but I think just a little bit on there. So what I'm going to do is bring my template in again and I'm going to pop this just over a little bit a little bit and just fold that there so I'm going to cut out this again or part of this template again and then I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller to make my mats and layers as such so I know what I'm doing it'll all become clear so are you doing, you're just going in, are you ink blending on your card base there or is that just card stock? And you know, this is just a cut out. Um, I started off to one side, I don't know why, but to be honest, I don't really want the brown to be a focal feature. I want it to just creep into the edge, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And then the brown itself, I've had, I've had a little a dabble between antique linen, frayed burlap, and I've gone with um, walnut, walnut stain because it felt like a good... Yeah. Because fired brick, fired brick itself is so strong, the other ones didn't seem to be strong enough to hold up. Right. But you know, I've, I've been having troubles with um, stamping on this desk, so I hope I've not, you know, oh, just okay. blended this beautifully and then I'll end up wrecking the... Um, is it backup. even? Is the surface even? I don't know. I might have to um, just take sit to one side and see if I can get it to... Maybe have a word with it. <laughs> have a word. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be blending, isn't it? Um, which way is this going? So I am just cutting my mats and layers. I need to. All I'm do I'm doing this completely by eye. Uh, that's basically, the way I work. we're in a little bit of a rush today, just because of this whole technology situation that we've had going on. Just want to make sure that we get the hour done, completed, without anyone missing out on anything. So, so there's no messing about today. No, we'll hustle. Oh, we'll hustle. Right, so it should fit beautifully. I mean, I think it's not a technique I'm using as such, but if you're blending a certain area, just hold the stamp over it to make sure it's going to be yeah. about right. Yeah. Um, looks good, looks though. Fair. That blending's awesome. Do you know what it also looks like? Like a big fireball in space. <laughs> fireball in space. Right, I need to prime the stamp, don't you? Really? Yes, you do. Have you got an eraser there? Oh, of course I don't. Use your fingers. Rub your fingers all over. You know what my plan B is as well? I've bought, I've brought, bought my uh, trusty colour burst pigments. Oh, nice. I thought that would look gorgeous, but I have obviously done that before, so I'm trying not to be too repetitive for you all. Okay, right. so I am going to bring out this stamp. Now this is a huge stamp. It's from Apple Blossom. So Apple Blossom are exclusive to Craft Stash. So you won't find them anywhere else. Well, not many other places. We do sometimes have them on what was Hoshanda, but um, that's sort of while stocks last as such. So I'm just going to stamp each one just a little bit over each triangle. Just give it a little bit of background um trying to decide the best way to do this because it's such a big stamp martha's martha's given us a lovely top tip there so sometimes help to have a sometimes helps to have a tan and bottom mat underneath the card stock or a few spare pages gives you nice support for stamping with a stamp box. So with that said i'm going to put this back under here oh maybe this too thank okay. you martha Ooh. every day's a school day it is and do you know what that's what i love about crafters sharing knowledge because nobody ever knows everything it's impossible you can't and there are multiple ways to do things as well of course there are and some will work better for some and others for others that really didn't sound like a great sentence did it no i know what you're saying so um i suppose some people would take if, if our stamps are so big some people would take the paper to the stamp rather than the stamp to the paper yep absolutely uh, lots of different ways people i know some people use brayers when they're um pressing down on their stamps to get it nice and even and covered and etc etc you know there's loads of different ways of doing stamping ink blending embossing like i'm doing so i'm just gonna do one one of these panels at a time because i don't want the ink to dry although it's a wow ink 
Um, oh, wow. Oh, I'd love to see if we can get Marion on one of these Ready Steady Crafts. Wow. <laughs> wow. Excuse the noise, everybody, just for a moment. Put it on the slowest setting, or the lowest setting. You should still be able to hear Natalie okay. If I'm talking, I'm currently pressing as hard as I can in the Oh, I didn't do it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Or is it not? Oh. Is no. your ink pad wet enough? I brought my own ink pad from home because the one here is dry, drier than the Sahara Desert. Oh, oh that's devastating. Oh, I can't get the staff loose. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Let me have a think. I've not been watching what you're doing, so I need to... Have a look. It's uh, it's just not stamped properly, which is very upsetting. But I, at this point in time, I'm wondering whether it's me and not the flipping. Well, no, I think I think it can't be you because you've had issues with different stamps and different ink pads. Mm. Like, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Is it always the same ink pad? No, this is new. This is well, not new. This is what I brought from home, which I stamp with most of the time. Right. Okay. And I just used Marta's tip of putting some bits and bobs underneath. So I'm, gonna, um, I, I'm feeling like it's this mat, to be honest. Could be. It could be. Could well be. Now I've just made the mistake of starting to ink up my uh, stamp without double checking that my paper underneath is in the right place. There we go. Do you know what? We're not exactly showing any sort of crafty <laughs> expertness today, are we? <laughs> no. I'm going to flip it and push the other side. Oh, do you know what? I've just done this without checking what side I'm actually stamping on. Oh, is that... Oh, do you know what? I think I've done it. I've done it on the right side. That's fine. That was a 50-50 chance, wasn't it? <laughs> it could have gone either way. There we I did go. say today, I did say, didn't I, Lou, that because we're stamping and inking and stuff, it's going to take me 10 years, because it always does. But you right. get there in the end still and it's not always, it. it's always it's still not done it. It's not done it. That sounded very sticky right. rather than wet. Oh, send me positive vibes, please, everyone. Positive, positive. Um, have you got any other sort of, your ink pad sounded like it stuck to the paper there did you peel it off was that what noise i yeah. heard yeah this is a great so, way of everybody popping in the comments all of their stamping tips and tricks this is a great way of um testing your ink supplies and uh, geraldine said nat why don't you try your uh, dark brown ink rather like yes. your distress ink i just pop that on there i don't know whether it's me not priming it properly Oh, but I think once you've inked it and stamped it a few times, it's naturally primed anyway. Have you tried doing it the other way then? With yeah. the paper, putting the paper on top of the stamp. Is that your brown? Yeah, it's not stamping. Oh, okay. So what what did you put underneath when you were... Uh, the first time, two layers of card. The second time, uh, the mat. The rubber uh, mat. And I also turned it over and rubbed the other side of it too. That's a funny one, isn't it? I don't know what to say. Give it a good wipe with a baby wipe, I guess. Just in yeah. case there's anything on there. Have you got a wet wipe? They're dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, yeah, I'm just going to I want to go. I want to go to Stockport and help you. I think genuinely, people are stealing things from this room. <laughs> if anyone's in Stockport, can you just jump in to the studio and see yeah. if we can? Well, then bring me a goodie bag of, of things that work. <laughs> oh yes, we need to re we need to restock the studio, don't we, with some more things? Yes, please. Well, okay. the thing is. The thing there are no is, this is wipes. this is all sort of part and parcel, isn't it? It's, it's good for people to see the issues that, as crafters, we all have. Yeah. Well, I just think I just don't know why that stamp's not stamping. Have you tried what was the brand? Sorry. Archival. No, sorry, of stamp. 
Altenir. Oh, so it's a really good quality. Yeah. So good. Have you tried perhaps taking that stamp off the block and just putting it back onto that acetate and stamping it from the acetate? It might not be perfectly clear, but you might be able to press into all the detail a bit better. You mean instead of the block? Yeah, just stamp it straight off the backing. Mm. Place it, place it onto the paper, and then just press it down. Oh, um, Carla said, "Do I have any water?" Yes, I do. Water for your wipes. Yeah. Now, so sorry, everyone. Promise no, don't you be were. sorry. We we like to see this. These are my colours that I've got. So I've got oranges, browns, yellows, greens. Uh, is that all? Orange, brown, yellow, green. Yeah. And I'm just going to do a bit of a a sweep between them. Mm. Mix them up. Because I've gone on with yellow, I'm happy to then use my orange with the same blending brush. Again, I'm using blending brushes. I just naturally, I love these. Oh, look how rich. So, uh, oxides are in general creamier than a, uh, an ink, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're kind of pastel, aren't they? They're sort of pastel versions of Yeah, they're more opaque, they're um they're creamier texture. They'll overlay colour much easier, I find, than an ink. Um I've actually done, and I'm wondering whether it's on Craft World, I'm not sure. A comparison between distress inks and distress oxides. I've got a feeling. Ah, nap. You were swiping that. You need to dab. I swiped, then tapped, Lou. Oh, okay. I'll let you off. <laughs> oh, it's like the moment of truth now, isn't it? I just like, I just don't know what's going on. Let's see what, oh, where all the And also, I don't want this brown because that was part of the blend. But if it's yeah. all I've got... If yeah. it works, it works. Look, I'm watching Natalie now rather than getting on with what I'm supposed to do. I won't be able to blend more distressing over a brown distressing. No, or you just won't. Eradicate it. So, hey. So it works we that have, way. We have an impression, but nothing I can use. Right now, try it again in the black, the same way you did it. What a shame! All that blending. Yeah, but can you not press it over? No, because I, I can't accurately, I don't think I can accurately. But it'll only be like a slight drop shadow, won't it? Mm, maybe. You have high hopes. I do. I believe in you. Come on. Uh, now I've just used the same blending brush for all three of those, but I use a wet wipe between to take the excess off. So as long as they're similar colours, that's fine. Do you know what I don't I don't like? It's when the contrast on your video, so this video is really bright, so the blending looks really unblended, but when you look at it <laughs> properly, it's actually... Oh, it just picks up everything. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It feels like I'm flipping a pizza, like I'm going to drop it. <laughs> this is it. I wonder if it's symmetrical or not, you know, or if there was a point to a line. Well... Uh, That'll do. Get there it down. Go. She'll be fine. Right now, everybody, fingers crossed and and everything. Cross else. everything. Cross your eyes. Cross your toes. Cross your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I want the fire. I want my uh, mandala fireball to work out. <laughs> I'm sorry, I called it a fireball. It's just what I saw no, when I looked I think it up. it's a cool. It might be the ink, we'll find out now. Ah, and it looks terrible. Well, it's that ink. That ink isn't wet enough, is it? Fancy that. It's a work woman blaming her tools. That's what it is. Yeah, but that's fine. Okay, we can well, do that. Plan, plan Z. <laughs> Have you got another plan, Nat? No, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. It out full of birth. Oh, oh yes. And a rocking sentiment is my... Uh... I'm intrigued to see these colour bursts working um, because you said to me earlier, you said, oh, I have got a backup. Yeah, but like this is what I, you know, I guess it's not cheap blending, but it's more of an artist sort of like... So 
uh, Marta said you could spray the um, the one you've already done. You could spray that and give it a watercolour look. It's not wasted. True. Well, I'll, I'll do it anyway. I'll, I'll dig it out of the bin in a second. <laughs> dig it out. Have you actually put it in the bin already? I did. I'm upset. It She's hurts, sulking, it? that's why. Yeah. She's sulking. It hurts to, to have a craft fail. Well, no, it doesn't hurt to have a craft fail, but it's scary to know that we have... 20 minutes to do a card and that is the method you'll attempt. rock it you'll rock it you'll be fine okay actually well, spray this is this let's see yeah because all you've... laying together let's see what happens well because it's an archival link that won't move will it no the archival won't but the distress behind it should mm, it looks the same to me i don't know is it still blending <laughs> yeah a finger in there is it all dried? If you leave yeah. that leave that water on there and it may start to work while you're not looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, heat tool for me. I've got I've gone for fireball for fire. <laughs> I didn't prep a heat tool. That oh. is that is so much like a like fire, isn't it? That's quite scary. Yeah. In a good cool. way. How yeah. realistic that is. I'll read some of the comments in just a second. Um, yeah. Thank you, Marie. She loves the colour of the cardstock. Um, I don't know whether that's this one or the the blending that I've done. The wow, that is a really... Sorry, I'm too loud. No, that's fine. It's a, it's a funny sounding piece. if you can hear me like that. I think you might be able to. Fun with that, isn't she? I don't want to talk because I don't want to talk to you. Okay. How's that doing? Looks good. <laughs> if in doubt, set fire to the paper. Don't do that. <laughs> that's pretty gnarly, isn't it? I feel like it's such a cheat. No, that's awesome. I love that. Now you need to tell everybody what are they and where can they get them. Apologies. So these are super old school because I did this for a magazine commission some years ago, um, which the Ken Oliver colour burst. But I know that there are so many other pigment inks that you can get too. Yeah. They're basically powdered pigment ink. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. They're beautiful. I, do you have any, Lou? Do you have pigment? I ta what the powders? Yeah. No, I don't. And it's one thing I keep meaning to get. I like, um, well, I like a lot, look of a lot of them, but Pretty Gets Gritty, are probably. Or mm, is that all the Indigo Blue ones? Um, yeah. So Indigo Blue are... Oh, what are they called? Oh, someone remind me. I can't remember. But someone calls them Explosion Powders. Is that Pretty Gets Gritty? Maybe calls them that. There's different names for them, but they're basically highly pigmented mica that you put on and then obviously it reacts with water and you can mix it with texture paste and all sorts of other things. Um, pretty amazing stuff. Whoop, now, I need rummaging about in my little craft thing here. Um, I've still got some ink on there, that black ink, which isn't an issue really. But I'm gonna stamp this in do, 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 do. see all my, my hands make me remember where things are i've got a sentiment here and it says when you stop and look around life is pretty amazing so that's what i'm going to use that's cute for this what was that noise just me falling off a chair <laughs> <laughs> just falling off a chair she's fine everyone Mm. Now, I was going to stamp this in black, but do you know what? I think with the white of the flowers and and everything, I need to do it in white as well. White heat embossing. Right. 
my brain's going so fast to try and figure out what the best plan of action is. I have just opened a set of tropical floral stamps from Simply Made Craft Helen Griffin's range. I'm wondering whether this archival is strong enough to do smaller areas. Ooh, have a look. Then you'll know, no. you'll know whether yes. it's... Because I admit, to be honest, I think I've been using this, the sentiments at home, my archival, rather than a big background. So that might be why I haven't noticed that it's drying up. Possibly, yeah. But How long have you had? Do... You say it's quite new. This one's pretty new, yeah. The distressing for the ones I've had for fucking 10 years. Yeah, it'll do this. Okay. okay. <laughs> it'll be at least eight years old. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. It will be. <sighs> what do I want to do here? What am I thinking? Right. Yeah, I love, I love white embossing on craft. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. Mm. Oh, come on, Nat, you can do it. You're hesitating. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't want to ruin it. Stamp on a scrap attempt. piece of paper first. Pardon? Stamp on a scrap piece of paper first. I did. I just mean, I don't know. I think what would look nicest on this background would be silhouettes of foliage coming from the middle, but then I'm scared to do it in the wrong place. I know, I know. You just have to but go for it. should just be. I should just be fluid with it and put down, oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to go back and look at some of the comments while you procrastinate and decide what you're doing. <laughs> um, um. So Lynn Hobson, Hodson, sorry, is the first time for her commenting. Um, so lovely to have you here, Lynn. Thank you for your comments. Certainly ask any questions or tell us we're being daft or you don't like that or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, Marta really has to go so sorry Marta don't worry you can catch up later and we'll speak to you soon anyway um, Deborah uses pixie powders and shimmer powders um, so they're two so Joan says yes there's explosion powders from pretty gets gritty but they're not in stock to purchase from craft stash at the minute Oh, and oh, of course, Joan, you're not in the UK, are you? Because Pretty Gets Pretty doesn't ship outside of the UK. Oh, well, I'm sure they'll have them in stock again soon because I'd love to be able to do uh, something with them soon, mm -hmm. as soon as possible. Um, Beverly Miller. So she says, hello, girls. I've been watching while I've been working. <gasps> Is that allowed, Beverly? Uh, she loves the full colours. She had a full wedding, red, orange, sorry, red, gold, orange, yellow, flowers and pumpkins all round that's lovely uh, so ella said nat your first idea didn't work because fate decided you should use the color powder because it looks brilliant it does look really good it looks awesome um, oh gosh do, 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 do. I, I feel like i'm on like a bake-off type show the, the stress i'm feeling under right now <laughs> chill breathe just for a second just breathe just breathe i've got to it's trim my center like wanting to have a nice finished card you know it's a, it looks lovely what you've got at the moment looks really nice and i can see you're adding black which will really make those colors stand out yeah that's going off the autumn trail a little bit but um... no i think it works when you think about uh, autumn bonfires and things i think the black really works well the uh, glue is blocked as well. I think um, I think the world's against me today. Ah, oh, everybody, oh. let's do an R for now. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, um, should I bring? Is this the right sort of green? It is, but it's such a big sheet. Do I really want to cut into this? Yep. Woo. Yep. Marie says, "Is anyone watching Wimbledon?" Pardon? Marie says, "Is anyone watching Wimbledon?" Oh, I thought you said in Rendlesham. I thought, well, that's my village. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't my friend has gone to Wimbledon today. Oh, really? I have a family member there, but only as part of the St John's Ambulance, not actually... <laughs> that's a good gig, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. I don't think it gets to really see so much. And everything. Yeah. Oh, I've just dropped my distress ink on the floor and it's just rolled away like the other side of the studio. <laughs> Bear with me. Did you, did you drop it inkside down? No, like, no, no, uh, no. Like when you drop toast. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> always. No, it did still have the uh, the lid on. This has just been like a one of those disaster days, hasn't it? Yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm shaking and everything. Are you really? I yeah. Do you know what? Even if we finished the hour and you didn't have a card, or or if I didn't have a card finished, it wouldn't matter because I just think it's it's the trying out the techniques and all of this that make. Nice. Oh, that's too close. It's just what I feel like I owe everyone. You owe everyone. Do you know what? I think everyone would be happy to just see lots of techniques um, and not so much worried about the end result all the time. It's great to see a lovely finished card, but if people are watching and learning techniques, then surely that's a win. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> the deal should be changed. Ah, oh, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. It's amazing. Nobody will mind at all. Um, what is the time? Because, uh, oh, 43 minutes. I think we'd better soon wrap it up. How are you doing? Uh, in, in the challenge or in life? Or? No, 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 just in the challenge. Because I know we said we'll try and make sure we're finished on time today. So... I'm going to stamp some more leaves um, to try and fill some of the space at the bottom of here. I haven't stuck down. It this is, is a little bit dry, the ink pad, so. This is a bit different for me, this card. I'm, I like it, but then I don't like it. And then I like it again, and then I don't like it, so. <laughs> you know, it looks very, I mean, just card templates are a bit of a, a mystery. I've learned so much from you making those videos. Um, oh, yeah, I'll... we didn't say, did we? The card templates, if you've not come across them on Craft World, there is a video with each one sort of showing a, using the template and then making a finished card. So yes, we've just been very thorough with the whole thing. So you've got your uh, finished sample for inspiration, a video showing you how to construct it, a link to a video with general techniques for templates yeah and then the actual template download itself so you could go on to the home page right now and download all seven or eight or how many are there and we're going to add one a week every week so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy Ooh. so i've just bought in ultra new enamel dots because i've got a lovely green here and i think the green just goes quite well with these greens so i'm Ooh. going to use this mid green here and i've got a thing for putting enamel dots in threes and a nice big one and then smaller ones after that yeah i like things in threes as well i don't know what it is it's just it's just nice isn't it <laughs> yeah pleasing it's a rule of thirds as a photography yeah. concept it, well all the way through art isn't it absolutely i did interior design and the rule of thirds came in there Mm -hmm. strangely these are my finishing touches I think so these are not colours that I would ever choose I've got a massive issue with orange usually obviously yeah, when you think orange. Orange. I know you like blue don't you I love blue and blues, pinks, purples greens I'm actually coming round to greens a lot more now than I used to a couple of years ago so um yeah, but orange I struggle with. I think I actually prefer your card nap to mine. What? Because I this, love this last minute. I, I do. I really love the bright, bright colours against the black. That's awesome. Yeah. Contrast. It is very contrasting. I'm gonna have a little tidy up because I think I think I'm done. Um, was there anything else we needed to tell people? We've pinned where they can take part in the challenge. I just want to say as well, we we often put challenges on Craft World and uh, Craft Sash Blog have them as well and such like. And sometimes people say, oh, I really want to get involved. I'd really love to take part, but I don't. I'm, I'm not confident enough. Now, it, it, very often, these are not talent competitions anyway. They're just a random selector. So... Don't worry about how long you've been card making or whether you think your cards are good enough. I'm sure they're beautiful. Um, but I just wish people would have the confidence to enter these things. And I don't know what I can say to 
um, allow them because we don't see yourself photos of yourself or anything like that um, we have all abilities enter these things something like this it will be I believe I'm just going to check Nat this mm -hmm. this autumn uh, challenge will be chosen at random yes yeah so it, no one's judging ta ta talent or ability or skill or anything like that we just want everyone to get involved and take part and so you know, when I was first started card making um I used to look at some cards and say, oh they're amazing I'll, I'll never be able to make cards like that I wish I could make cards like that they're absolutely stunning when I look back at those same cards now because I've got magazine clippings that I used to keep this was before you could pin pin things on Pinterest um and such like but I used to uh, keep magazine clippings of all my favourite projects. And now I look back at those clippings and I think, well, I think now I can actually do... There, there's, things in, there's things in them that I like, but I can do that myself now. Uh, and there's other things that I like. So what is the point I'm trying to make here? Um, yeah. Whatever... You, you, you know, you just, it's a bit of a journey, isn't it? Yeah, and whatever level your card making is at now, someone is going to love your projects. And yeah, the card you're making. You're going to inspire someone with. Always. With what That's what I was getting at. I went off on a bit of a tangent, but I was, I, I was getting there. That's what I mean. So when I look now at what inspired me all those years ago, that was amazing then. Now, other things inspire me, different techniques, different projects, products even, and such. But there's always something for someone. Yes. Or always okay. someone for something even. Mm. I love that, Nat. I'm not too that unhappy with the way that's come about. It's brilliant, isn't it? I love the black with it. See, all oh, that stress for nothing. Turns out the girl just needs a bit of pressure exactly i think yeah you definitely work best under pressure this um, is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. it makes you feel horrible but do you know look at that see white, what, white or black card blank everyone personally black but yeah i love my black black Ooh, border you pardon are you still shaking you need to go and have a gin and tonic i think <laughs> lose orders everyone <laughs> but yeah go for it it's like a prescription <laughs> uh, I am trying to catch up. There you go. The challenge is all about taking part and getting the experience. It absolutely is, Lynn. Yes, you're right. Uh, okay, so Carla's asked, for this particular autumn challenge, is it just cards for the challenge or any other craft medium? Do you know that? Well, it's, it's going into... I think it does say cards on the thing, but as long as it's paper craft, as in it would be appropriate for... Simply cards and paper craft, I think it would be fine. Yeah, because so the winner will be featured. Yeah. We're not doing... Um, it won't be soft craft, because that would be out of place in simply cards and, and paper craft. But, um, yeah. Yeah, come on, come on down, get involved. Join yeah. the Hall of Fame of those people Definitely. who... Definitely. Who won. Um, Rainy said, uh, you don't owe us anything. Love watching... The two of you, disasters and all. I think that was back when we were sort of saying it doesn't matter if we don't yeah. finish a card. It's true. it's true. No one wants to watch someone who's perfect. And no. Who's saying and the right things. You come here, you watch me and Leo up and Natter and uh, chat rubbish and make semi beautiful. <laughs> no, that I'm is very... stunning. I think you win this week, hands down, 100%. Hey, it's um, <laughs> and I hope this week has just proved to everybody that we don't plan it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to it's... come back with some baby wipes and some proper ink. <laughs> you need some wet, wet baby wipes. You need a new ink okay. pad. Just go and order yourself a new ink pad. You've got my permission yeah. to order it. I tell you what, I'll give it to you. I'll send oh. you an ink pad. <laughs> oh, dear. My hands are covered in ink as well. That's the fun, isn't it? Oh, bless you. Um, are you putting that on a card base today or are you going to finish that off yes, and just put a photo? Yes, we're going to do a black mat with, and then a white card blank. I lovely, think. lovely. Yeah, lovely jubbly. Do you and then wanna... I'm, going to take this, I'm going to take this mandala home and make it work as well. Yeah, you're going to get stubborn with it. I think you need to. Mm -hmm. Possibly could be your stamping block or something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, it was good, great tips from everyone about that. That was really handy. Yeah, hopefully someone, someone else learned something as well if they're new to stamping maybe. Um... Fantastic. Okay, so are you okay if I turn, turn the camera around? Absolutely. 
Let do, me do, do. do. I will okay. come back to me and show my card. And then we'll go back to Nat and we can see her card. So there's my twisted gatefold card. So hang on, try and hold it straight because the twist, it, it sends it off a little bit. So, and then when it opens up, obviously it all goes to the side. So whoop, I'm trying to do this backwards. <laughs> um, so there's my autumn colours. Now I would probably, with more time, have put some leaves coming out of here and things like that, but obviously didn't. I don't want to show Nat up either because her card's amazing and I think she definitely deserves to win today after all the stress she's been under. Um, Natalie, let's see that amazing card. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. Those powders. Oh. I know, they're just like... It feels so dishonest to use these to create a background, but if it does the job, it does the job. Absolutely. If it takes longer to hand blend and two seconds to drop a bit of powder and spray some water and dry it. And it comes I was going to say, I think it takes longer to dry it than it does to actually make the effect. Yeah. So, yeah, you, get, you end up with different pools of different things, and then I just use an off-cut for the sentiment and then these Gorgeous. are tropical flowers but who says they can't work for an autumnal theme they can obviously because you yeah. just proved they can amazing yeah. thank you I'm so much whack it on a card base and we'll put our pictures up and we'll add them to the challenge as well so everyone can see on there and uh, hopefully it's a good um, starting point for everyone to get involved definitely i'd love to see all your names who have commented i'd love to see you all um all in the challenge somewhere so um next week uh possibly a magazine challenge possibly between magazine. us yeah i possibly. think so i think that would be nice yeah lovely so especially if it okay. dies because we love to die cutting don't we that's what we can get done in an hour we've not it's... done that for a while have we really yeah we haven't yeah Purely, but, we... um, is it dies do you know i know we we've thought about I the magazine don't know. no i think it's a big shaker kit that comes okay. with the particular magazine but okay. yes we'll see thank you everyone Thank you, Nat. We will see you next week, hopefully. Time for a game show. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I You're wonderful. <laughs> Bye. I could just keep her on for ages, so she just has to keep smiling and waving and let her come up. I wouldn't do that to her, I promise. So um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. I mean i am horrible um lovely thank you so much all of you for joining us as well uh, if you're catching this on facebook or youtube and you've not been over to craftworld.com yet and seen what we're all about and what's going on over there and where you can get the downloads for things like the template that i used uh, craftworld.com um if you want to access most things uh just sign up to be a member that all that means is we take an email address and a password so you can log in and we know who you are um, and then you can save things you can write messages to people blah 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 blah. all of this uh, really quick and simple to do we don't take any personal details from you though so uh, you're safe in the knowledge there um, I'd love to see you over there and if not I will see you on Tuesday next week along with Nat again 3pm as usual here on Facebook YouTube and